Howdy everyone, you, now of course you know I'm John Doe, and you, of course you know I live in Tokyo, and we're going to try to do another edition of the da -da -da, Ghost Letters Report. Now what are we talking about in this video? Well, a subject that I haven't done a video on in quite some time, and to be honest, the reason I haven't really talked about Fukushima in a long time, just because of the way that a lot of independent journalists were reporting things and the way activists started behaving in fighting and pettiness and you know looney tune conspiracy theories but you had to sift through and you deal with people's damn attitudes and egos and problems i just got sick of it all and didn't want to deal with it so i stepped away from it for a while but now something has happened with fukushima that's quite a big breakthrough and something worth i actually sat down to a video with you guys and, and discussing some of this with you what has happened is something we've been waiting on for years to happen. Finally, finally, our good friends at TEPCO that we all love so much have been able to develop a robot that can withstand the extremely high levels of nuclear radiation and the very harsh conditions in general. Uh, in, of in particular reactor number three and I sent it down in there as a probe and get video footage and evidence of exactly where this nuclear material is and what the extent of the damage it's caused is. Now, while a lot of the pictures I saw was quite like, just wow, just how extensive it is. Although it's not all the footage, of course. What I saw was pretty, you know, whoa, make your eye, eyes pop out of your head. And one of the pictures of the video I saw in particular was where the, the nuclear fuel in reactor 3 has solidified to the ground. And it's this big, huge mound of nuclear material just bonded with the down floor all over the containment vessel. And that's really um, poses a very difficult situation of trying to get it removed, which TEPCO does want to attempt to remove it. Currently, they don't have a concrete plan for that. I don't believe there's technology openly developed or openly being shown to the public or the media about how to remove this stuff. But they have announced they want to start the process, start the process in 2021 of trying to remove this melted nuclear material. Now, that's a good thing, of course, but you look at back on the Soviet Union at Chernobyl. And I look at you know the massive, extensive amount of how much nuclear melted nuclear material they were dealing with. They just looked at it and said, "Nope, not trying this. There's no way we can deal with it." You know, they just sent out the liquidators and you know boxed that thing up and burned everything in the area and walked off. And, and you know they had to do that because realistically they couldn't even dream of any technology to try to handle it the way that you know Tepco and the Japanese government are attempting to handle it now. Now, could they develop technology to remove that, that melted nuclear fuel? Possibly. And it would be unprecedented. And it would be extremely dangerous. Because you're dealing with nuclear material and you don't know what it's going to do when it, when it exposed to open air. It could just explode. You don't know. You have to keep it very contained from what I understand. So it's still an extremely dangerous situation and considering TEPCO's history and the Japanese government's history dealing with Fukushima I wouldn't I'll keep your fingers crossed too much about that 2021 date because of course they don't want to even talk about Fukushima until after the Tokyo Olympics and while we're on that subject we still have this massive disaster that's Fukushima Daiichi with the Japanese government having plans to try to hold some of the Tokyo Olympic Games in Fukushima Prefecture. Which is just boggles my mind. It's insane. Why would you want to do that? And I'm wondering as, as time approaches if there's going to be any Olympic athletes who raise this question and bring it up. You know, are we far enough away from the plan? I mean, how bad is it? And all this. You know, well, I just, like I said, I just wanted to bring this up and talk about this and get your thoughts on it. And as I gave, I gave my thoughts on it, you know. And I do hope you enjoy this video. And if you do want me to do some more things about Fukushima, I'm open to do them now. 
Let's say I'm doing this video now. But it has to depend on what it is, and it can't be Looney Tunes conspiracy theories. It can't be anything like that. I just won't do it. I never have. I never will. So, I, you know, I want to hear suggestions about it and what you think about this video in particular. As it is the first time you have seen good old John Doe, well, subscribe. You get videos like this and other things in the video library you may enjoy. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.